Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new week in my life. My name is Sonali if you guys are new here and if you are definitely hit that subscribe button and if you are already subscribed to make sure your post notifications are turned on. Today is Monday obviously, start of the week. It's actually 4 p.m. Today was a computer day. If you didn't watch my last week in my life, I showed like kind of my weekly schedule. I kind of made a little layout kind of a rough draft still like adding on to it kind of every week i'm trying to work out three times a week last friday i didn't work out just because i feel like i had a lot of stuff to do before the weekend so i was a little stressed so it didn't work out but i want to try to work out three times a week and like actually eat better this week because ryan came home last week and things kind of went downhill from there but getting back into it, getting back on that health grind. So I kind of like made a meal plan again and we're gonna go to, I think Trader Joe's, maybe Central Market because I vlogged yesterday, it was Sunday and Ren and I went to Central Market and I've been before, but yesterday just was like special. I don't know why because everything looked so much more beautiful and I was just like feeling myself and being all bougie in Central Market and I don't think it's realistic to shop there every single time I want groceries because I think it's a little bit more expensive and Ryan was telling me Central Market is kind of like a sister company to HEB so I wonder if I bought the same thing at HEB would it be more expensive at Central Market because I love the environment of Central Market it's just like very bougie like i said almost like a whole foods so i don't know where we're going yet but i also want to get some nice flowers because my friend's birthday is tomorrow we're all going to sushi tomorrow night for dinner and so i wanted to get her like some nice flowers and maybe make an arrangement i don't know if i even know how to do that but i thought that would be a cool like little gift um so we'll see we'll see i'll keep you guys updated hold myself together a little bit because we have to feel and look bougie if we're going to central market still don't really know so um this jacket is from princess polly this whole outfit is from waif and this hat is from sunday's vlog it's from goren brothers i don't know how you pronounce it goren bros actually i think that's what it's called and it's their farm collection it has all these little cute um animals and just random words. Shoes are fake Uggs on Amazon. Let's go get some groceries and meal plan for the week. Before I put everything away, I thought I would do a little grocery haul. We got some cilantro, some mint and basil, sourdough bread, angel sweet tomatoes, and cauliflower. The sushi roll had lemon on it and it was on sale, so I hope it's not bad. Got some eggs and now I just gravitate towards the brown eggs because I love like seeing that orange yellowish yolk, you know what I mean? White ones just don't do it for me anymore. Some oat milk. There wasn't any other choice for oat milk, which was kind of surprising because I feel like they would have had so many other brands. And I think recently I saw a TikTok saying that Oatly is not like one of the best oat milks. So I didn't really have a choice. I was running out and I needed some. Got some more baby spinach, bell peppers, and then mini bell peppers to eat with hummus, yellow onions, and potatoes. The last thing I got is sweet potatoes. Happy Tuesday, it is content day. I just filmed like a TikTok, get dressed with me kind of thing. And I have all of my outfits planned out. Ryan's actually gonna help me today shooting content. So I have like the whole bed covered in just random outfits that I was thinking of wearing. Um, so I have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven. And then I have some already from like the last content day. I wasn't able to shoot like four of them. So I have those like already in my car. <laughs> so I thought I would just like leave them there for the next content day. And then I can finally clean out my car because it's been messy. And one of my new year's resolutions was to keep my car clean. So that hasn't happened yet. I just got off the phone with my mom because she helps me with my taxes. And I have like the iPhone 12, Pro Max, I think. So I've had it for a year and some months, I wanna say, cause in September it would be two years cause I usually get every other phone, but I feel like I film pretty much all my content with my iPhone and take all my pictures. And I feel like vertical video is just such a big thing right now. So I was thinking about getting the new iPhone even though they just put out like apparently the prototypes for the iPhone 14. But I have some travel coming up just in general. Like I said, I use my phone for pretty much everything. So I think I'm gonna try to see if I could like trade this iPhone in to get the new 13. This is the back of my iPhone. I did not realize until today because I had to take my phone case off for a TikTok, but I cracked it so bad in the back. But I do have Apple Care on this, so I wanna see if I can get that fixed before I trade it in and see how much that would cost it's currently noon and ryan has a call at like one i think so we're planning on going to shoot after i am going to pay him so at least he gets something out of it but usually you know he doesn't so i can see why he can get a little impatient i think i filmed around like four tiktoks and i feel like that's not a lot but sometimes tiktoks especially when you're doing like the fashion and get ready with me's those take like a lot more time than you think they do um but i just put on this outfit and i'm actually in love with it. It is so simple, but it's so classic and I really, really like it. So I actually got this cream duster on Amazon. The pants are from Shein. I love these jeans like so much and I got them like maybe during summer and I swear there was a point in time that these were the only jeans I ever wore. And then this bodysuit is from Skims. I'm not sure what style this is. I'll try to find out and link it down below. Also, I don't think I ever showed you guys my new Goriana earrings. I believe these are the Lou Huggies. Not the Huggies. The Lou Hoops. Super cute. So we got a lot of my clothes in here. A lot of accessories, some jewelry, lotion, because last time I could not find my car lotion. I always have car lotion just in case I'm ashy and I could not find it. So I was ashy in one of the pictures and it was just horrible. Um, dry shampoo because... I feel like my hair falls flat sometimes. My little teddy hat. I'm gonna take some pictures with that today and then another bag full of accessories and then a coat that couldn't fit. And yes, we're all ready. At our first location, Waterloo Park. Capital's right there. We're on a time crunch, so we gotta go fast. Outfit one, location one, done. Running back to the car with all my stuff. I was smart and brought sandals so I didn't have to run in heels. But next outfit is just a sweater and a scarf. I think I want to close up so I don't have to change my pants. <laughs> I don't know what outfit this is. I think I skipped one, but another outfit done. Last outfit, I had two more, but time is up, so. It's 6.30, it's been a little bit since I vlogged last because when we came home from shooting, I left my camera in the car and I just didn't really feel like getting it. So we are actually back downtown. We are going to Barchi for Maddie's birthday dinner. I'm looking forward to some sushi because I bought that sushi from, where was it, Central Market? And I took one bite and I was just like really, not disgusted, but like almost disgusted. Um, just cause it was so cold and like, I don't know, it just like, wasn't great quality sushi. It didn't really look that great. I don't know why I freaking got it. Like could have saved almost 10 bucks there. Um, but yeah, so I just ate one bite and gave the rest to Ryan because I didn't want to like discuss myself before eating like a sushi dinner. And I totally forgot we were going to sushi tonight. So I wouldn't have gotten that sushi roll if I remembered. But anyways, I'm gonna go inside, meet all my friends. Apparently it's happy hour till seven. So hopefully we can get some good deals. Happy Wednesday. I just finished up a shoot. It wasn't a normal shoot. It was like a 30 minute shoot because one of my like probably most loyal customers, clients here in Austin, her name's Bree. She just had a baby and I've been doing their family photos since she was pregnant with like her first child. So it was like, I did 
some holiday minis with her pregnant belly. Then I did a photo shoot with her and the baby, you know, she had. And then she just had another one and it was just, I don't know, it was just so cute and full circle and it just made me so happy that she like keeps calling me back. So I don't normally do 30 minute shoots, but since she is like a loyal customer, I was like, okay, I'll do it for you. I got you, girl. This morning was a pull day, workout day, and then I did some cardio on the treadmill. And then today is just a full computer day. It's also supposed to be a posting day, but I haven't edited that vlog. And I was supposed to edit that like Monday and it just didn't get done. And I can't beat myself up for it. So I'm gonna go home, edit it because I am doing this Sunday, Wednesday, and sometimes Friday posting schedule. And I'm not going to veer off that path. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to it, at least try my hardest to stick to it. So that is like the number one thing that needs to get done when I get home. And then after that, I just have a lot of computer work to do. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I've started scheduling UT grads and just Austin seniors for March and April. Um, so those are like my two busiest months, I'd say. Grad picks are definitely my specialty, so I'm very excited for it to be coming up in the next few months, but there is a lot of just like prepping and scheduling and logistics stuff that I need to be figuring out. So I'm gonna head home. It's 11 11, so I gotta manifest for a minute and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm back home. I actually went to the leasing office to print out some like return labels and everything, but I have this big wagon full of my clothes from the shoot day, which was yesterday, right? I feel like these days are just scrambling in my brain. I'm gonna put away everything and I wanted to get this done first because Ryan's not at home right now so i feel like i can just like knock it out with no distractions but i have youtube playing so we're gonna get this done quick and then we will start editing the vlog since we we're going to the apple store today i wanted to back up my phone so i wanted to do something active so i'm not like reaching for my phone every second because yes i am addicted to my phone It's almost five. I put everything away and got all my returns ready. And we're gonna head to UPS before the mall, but my eye is so irritated right now. And just like the corner of this eye, it's kind of like been like this for like a couple of weeks. Well, not like consistently, it's so weird. Like sometimes it'll itch really bad and then other times it won't, but I know what it is, but I don't wanna stop. And like, you guys are probably gonna think I'm fucking crazy. But basically I've been using Grande Lash and I took some before and afters, but they're really like bad before pics. So I don't even know if you'll be able to tell because I only took before pictures with my eyelashes like, or eyes closed. I think they're really only like growing my lashes like longer, not like fuller, which is kind of what I wanted. I wanted them to be fuller. But anyways, I can't stop now because I feel like I've been so consistent using it pretty much every single night. And I just bought the brow serum from Grande Lash or Grande, whatever, whatever the company name is. So anyways, it's just this one corner of my eye. Oh, it's so annoying. I literally bought Grande Lash because I saw a girl on TikTok, like her before and afters. And I was like, okay, I literally need that. And I was reading through all the comments. Everyone was like, oh my God, it's great. It's great. It's great. No one really said anything about the stinging part or like just like the itchiness. And then of course, after I like had the itchiness, I went and read the reviews on like the Amazon page. And then I saw <laughs> that some people had some itchiness. But anyways, I'm just going to put some eye drops in. And hopefully that will fix that. But when I go to the mall, I think I kind of want to go into Sephora because I have still not used my birthday gift card that my friend Marissa got me. <laughs> and my birthday was like in November. It's just so weird because I feel like I used to go to Sephora and Ulta in college probably every week, which was scary for my credit cards. But now I just feel like I'm not very close to it. It's not very convenient to go. I feel like that's also Target for me. Like I used to go in there and could spend hours in there, but now I'm just like, I don't even know where a good Target is around here. I don't know why. I just feel like there's no good Targets in Austin. I know that there's one near Sunset Valley, but every time I walk in, like the home decor, it's just like not it compared to like Georgia and 
Orlando where I went to college. I edited my Sunday vlog, so that's gonna go up today, which is Wednesday. So I'm very happy that it all worked out because I was kind of putting pressure on myself just because I really wanted to stay on the upload schedule. While I was doing that, I uploaded the pictures from this morning. I think they're still uploading to my gallery site. And then I was also trying to DM some people to book and schedule their grad sessions. So if you guys know anyone who is graduating or is in the UT area or in the Austin area, it would mean the world to me if you guys sent them my um, photo profile if they ever need photo services. especially when you walk right by and smell it and you know it could be right yeah our our friend actually works for their social media team she is their social media. oh yeah she is the social media team of Auntie Anne's um but yeah we might have to pick some up especially if I have to like wait for a repair you know it's a good time passer I also do want to stop mm -hmm. do I even have my support gift card I literally did not bring it because I didn't bring my purse I brought my tote bag I'm really liking tote bags for some reason, just like throwing everything in here. And plus it's great for when I want to bring my vlog camera around because like my purse doesn't really hold it or it does, it's not big enough, you know? City views from the mall. Ladies and gentlemen, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is open her up. Why? You know what you have to say. Totally, totally, totally. <laughs> So black is the only color that they had, so I had to take it. Oh, also because I was just gonna have a phone call <coughs> on it anyways. Mm. Bam. We got another one of these cords. No fast charger, no block. Part. Putting this phone up, we get pretzels. It's like nine o'clock right now, but I'm just waiting for all of my apps to like download and restore on my new iPhone. Um, but I've been making dinner and I just made some chicken. I'm gonna like put a little bit of this pesto on it from HEB. And we've had this for a while, but it's not bad yet. March goes bad, so. I'm gonna use that for the chicken. And then I made some roasted sweet potatoes in the oven. So a super simple meal. It did kind of take a while to like cook the sweet potatoes um and also just an update on the calorie counting thing i am not really like counting calories and like putting it in the app like i'm still trying to like be very conscious of what i eat even though i <laughs> literally just ate pretzels from aunt annie's but um i don't know aunt, what's it called auntie Anne's. wait what do i call it i always called it something random but I'm not being too, too strict about counting calories right now. I do kind of want to get back on it, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. I'm not really sure when I joined the Amazon Influencer Program, but I've been having so much fun, like, just adding things to my storefront and showing you guys, like, the best Amazon finds that I can. The Amazon Influencer Program just sent over a little gift and got a candle from Lafco, which is, like, a really nice candle brand. And, like, look how gorgeous... This candle is and it smells so good. It's the champagne flavor, ginger, grapefruit, and raspberry. And I just thought that was so cute, so I had to share. Happy Thursday, I just laminated my own brows for under $30. I'm kind of shook because it actually looks really, really good. And it wasn't that hard, like you just have to like read the directions, which I'm not that good at, but I did it and they look really good. They're so fluffy. I love the look of laminated brows, but I think the last time I got it, it was like over $100, which, you know, obviously like it's a whole beauty treatment. I totally get why it's priced that high, but I found this kit on Amazon and I'm really hoping it lasts just as long as when I got it done professionally because I'm gonna be doing this like very often. Well, not very often. You can only really do it six to eight weeks like after you've already done it because of like the serums and what is wrong with my voice? 
<clears throat> because of the chemicals and serums and all of that, it's kind of just like harsh for your eyebrows. So you have to wait a little bit, but I'm very happy with my results. So now I cannot get them wet for 24 hours. And I really wanted to do it yesterday because I wasn't even wearing makeup the whole day yesterday. And I was just feeling lazy and just was not very energetic. And I wanted to film a video. So I didn't do it yesterday, but now I want to put on makeup because it's content day, but we'll see. We'll see what I do. It's 11 a.m. and I'm starving. I think I'm gonna make some avocado toast because I haven't had that this week and it sounds really good, so let's do it. I'm trying to finish up this sourdough bread so I can use the one that I got from um, Central Market. That one's like an actual bread loaf and it looks so good, but I told myself I'm going to waste less this year, so I need to eat this first and then dig into that. Get an end piece today, so exciting. I did not show you guys my new toaster. Do you see it? It's white like all of my other appliances. You guys probably think I'm crazy for buying literally everything white, but this is our new toaster. It's from Amazon, the Redmond brand. I will link it down below and it'll also be linked under the kitchen category on my Amazon storefront, but it's so cute. I still need to get rid of the old toaster. It's just one from Walmart Sunbeam. I think it was pretty affordable, but I love this new toaster. It just goes with everything and I love it. I drizzled honey over it because I had it at this one place in Austin called Blender and Bowls and it just like changed the game for my avocado toast ever since. Cheers. I just did my hair and makeup. I just like had to touch up my hair a little bit but other than that like I brushed it out and it actually looked pretty good um, and then I definitely had to add some dry shampoo um, but now I'm going to continue kind of like scheduling grads I need to look at my dms on my photo account if you guys didn't know i am a photographer but i feel like i've said that a lot but i am a photographer here in austin texas and i specialize in grad photos so i take a lot of people's photos at ut when they graduate i would love to do st edwards but i feel like i haven't really broken into that market yet but right now i'm just doing ut kind of makes it easier to just do one campus so you can have back-to-back -back shoots and make time efficient and days efficient because this year I'm actually going to be traveling during grad season like the peak of it which is in April like late April um so I feel like I'm going to be missing out on some money but I have decided to increase my prices in April and May and all of that um for grads and stuff so I just have like this calendar layout right here on sheets I don't know if you can see it but I also don't really want to um, post anyone's names um, and then I also don't really want to shoot anyone during the week of South by Southwest because it's happening this year. I moved here to Austin in June of 2019 and I've heard so much about South by Southwest. I was so excited for it to happen March of 2020 and of course it was the first big event to be canceled if I'm remembering that correctly and I was crushed because I had it on like my manifestation list to um, go and photograph a couple of the events and I actually got into like three of the events to photograph. I had a friend at an event company but I decided to like give my deposit back because I just felt so bad for them and like they pretty much lost all their business so that was so sad and I've always wanted to go to South by Southwest so hopefully this year is the year and I don't even know like is it in the day is it at night it's probably like the whole day um but especially since I don't have like a boss or a job, I want to be like open that week because I feel like sometimes, especially when brands come to town, I feel like a lot of things are last minute. Honestly, in general, I feel like a lot of brands are very last minute when they're trying to find influencers for campaigns. And I don't know, I just kind of like want to leave South by Southwest week open. And then I found out that UT spring break is actually that week. So it kind of works out because students won't even like be in town or want to have their photos taken that week. So that actually worked out, but I do have a big trip end of April. So I really want to get everyone kind of like done before then. So that's why I'm trying to push everyone and do it a lot earlier. But I'm going to get back to kind of going through the calendar, rearranging and figuring out what day everyone should go on. And I'll talk to you guys a little bit later.
I'm not sure if I already shared this with you guys in another vlog. Like two weeks ago, I went into my message request and then there was like a hidden message request. I've never seen this in my life. So I went in and it was just kind of like all spam. But then there was like one with a blue check mark. And I was like, that's so weird. Why would they be in the hidden message request? So I clicked on it and it was Girlfriend Collective. This brand was literally on my dream brand list of last year. And so they sent me some stuff to try on for a tiktok and of course do you see that brown yeah i got all brown stuff who's shocked i looked at my instagram feed the other day it's literally all brown i'm like okay you know i like my neutrals but i think we're taking it too far here but i think i'm gonna unbox this for tiktok and do a little tiktok haul also we just picked up some packages and i got two huge misguided bags that i bought myself um and i have one from nasty gal coming and like i used to buy from nasty gal and boohoo a lot in college and I think misguided too, but not as much as like Boohoo and Nasty Gal. This time around, I did not purchase the expedited shipping for Nasty Gal. And that was a mistake. When I was looking at it, I was like, oh, I'll just plan a content day like after the date. But like, I don't know. I feel like it's taking a lot longer than it said it was going to. So I learned my lesson. I did expedited shipping with misguided and we'll be doing that from now on for Nasty Gal. But like when I do expedited shipping, it does come super fast. And it's like $10 on top of you know your whole order which isn't like that much so anyways i'm gonna unbox this whole thing it's like ripped in half because ryan was trying to see um if his amazon thing was in here but let's do it currently doing a tiktok haul but i thought i would show you guys on the vlog too so we have the tommy cropped bra the sports skirt, and crew socks and both of these are size large as i'm usually a size 10 and they're in the color earth these are the high rise run short and then i got the girlfriend beanie on two huge bags of misguided sweaters and stuff i went a little crazy i feel like i've been saying this for a while but i just like want more sweaters to like layer and actually look cute in the winter because i always look like a damn marshmallow <laughs> if you guys saw my last vlog i bought a um coat from asos and it literally made me look like a marshmallow i love it but <laughs> It is so big. The only reason I even went to Misguided was for this sweater right here. The colors are so out of my comfort zone. You guys know I love my neutrals, but oh my God. I thought you left, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you already left. But when I saw it, I was like, it's so cute for Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna open this one up, but everything else, I'm probably just gonna do like a collective haul. Look how cute. Guys, this is like perfect for like a Galentine's moment. Hopefully it's not out of stock before I post this video. I had to share what it looks like on. Look at this like material. It's just so good. <laughs> Probably a better view. It's the perfect amount of like oversized. I have another call with Caitlin who is doing my branding at 515. So it's 438 and I have a package downstairs that I'm so excited about. I wanted to get like a little poof for the longest time because I have like these stools right here like i have two of these stools they're kind of like that wicker vibe and they're cute and stuff but i wanted like a poof for this couch right here because the back pillows are so fluffy and like i could take them away and then there's definitely more space to scoot back but i feel like if i had like a poof down here to put my feet up then I would definitely utilize this couch more and like edit from here. So <laughs> I randomly stumbled upon this poof from CB2 and I've literally been looking for a poof for months, but it's that like boucle CB2, like very well-known fabric. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and show it to you guys when I actually unbox it. So this is what the poof looks like. It's the large or extra large. It's just like the bigger version. They do have a smaller version of this, but this is the boucle texture I was kind of talking about. It almost looks like it's pilling, but like in a cool way, I guess. Hi, hi, you wanna play ball? I see, okay. I think it looks so cool. It makes it look like a chase. And then whenever I need to film, I can put this under my desk over there so that I can have my feet up if I wanna like work on my desk. I swear I do like 100 outfit changes on these content days. I have the branding call in literally less than 15 minutes and I'm really hungry 
So I thought I would make ants on a log. The celery is like on the verge of going bad. So I want to eat these. And I'm just kind of craving some peanut butter. <laughs> so I thought this would be a good snack. I'm honestly a little nervous for this call because um, we're going to talk about like colors and fonts. And like I've been saying, I feel like that's going to be the hardest thing for me to kind of decide on because... I don't know, like if you choose one font, then that's gonna be your damn font, you know? Like, it's just a big decision and it sounds kind of silly when I'm saying it's a big decision, but I mean, that's like my brand. I want it to all be the same so it's more like streamlined and it's just faster, easier to think about. She sent over my brand carry-all, which honestly I do not know what that means, but basically she's just sent over what we talked about on that three hour call last week, um, all about my audience and um, just like brand strategy stuff and then she did add some like font options and colors but I just wasn't really feeling it so that's why I thought maybe we can get on a video call and like talk through some stuff um, so that she can kind of feel my vibe even though she like is doing a really great job but like I said I'm just uh, so picky with the fonts and colors so that's just a me thing. I'm really excited about that poof because I feel like I don't use that couch as much as I want to because whenever I'm sitting on a couch, like especially our living room couch, I always sit on the chase side and I like to have like a little bit extra room over there and just put my feet up somewhere. And so I feel like on that couch in there, I don't have anywhere to put my feet up. So I think that poof is really gonna help me utilize that space more and just have it be comfy. You want some peanut butter? You want some peanut butter, Sophie? is going to be the bane of my existence we were just like going over colors and stuff like that and it just like is always looking so off to me like I want it to be vibrant enough so that like the thumbnails pop but I like the muted greens and I like a sage green I like a jade green but it's not vibrant enough and then we were playing around like with a matcha green literally pulled directly from Pinterest but then that matcha green was too muted and I'm just like we need to find the perfect green. I just got off the call with her and I think I'm just going to play around with the green myself. All the other colors are so good. I have like a new color that we added and I think it's going to be so perfect. And yeah, very excited. I ate one of these but they were like literally staring me in the eye because it was so good. So I'm going to finish these and don't know what else that was like pretty much the only thing I had to do today um probably just oh I need to post on Instagram I've been telling myself that I'm gonna actually post every single day and see where it gets me because I feel like you know gotta post consistently no one's gonna follow you if you don't post on your feed really it's 7 p.m. I'm about to cook dinner just got done pretty much editing all of the video it went faster than usual I'm not quite done yet but I'm gonna make some Penang curry today I'm not making it from scratch it's from this like packet thing from HEB never had them before <sighs> yeah they look really good but I've heard mixed reviews mm -hmm. that's they're like really really good and then others are like they're dry which one do you want Sophie she's looking at them too <laughs> chocolate chip chocolate chip she said leave on the table tonight and chill <laughs> <laughs> there was one time <laughs> we accidentally left like not a plate of chocolate chip cookies, it's but there was like wrapped up in Tiff Streets. Oh, that too. She did it multiple times, but we left it on this like coffee table that's like, you know, not very high. And she ate all the cookies. She was diarrheaing for days. <laughs> Luckily, she was fine after a couple of days. Like I don't think it was enough chocolate to like, kill her, but she do be loving cookies. I think I want this one, and then definitely like a chocolate chip cookie. Oh my god. Cinnamon fry bread or whatever it's called. The chocolate one looks good too. And then, yeah. Look how nice this app is. You can't order it online, you have to download the app. Are you serious? Mm hmm. 
It's kind of weird. Wait, what? <laughs> Did you actually write that on there? What? You kind of stink. <laughs> the guy wrote that on there. Why do you put that? It's like the name tag. Wait, what? Actually? Yeah. Wait, put it back. He said he kind of stinks. Actually, you didn't write that? These are for Sophie. It's for her. <laughs> Did you actually not write, yeah, that? write that? Wait, that chocolate <laughs> icing smells so good. Oh, too close to Sophie's mouth. <laughs> Tiny, we're trying the chocolate chip one. So dry, ew. Not bad. Worth 18 bucks. Really 18 bucks. Oh, four, yeah. Which one did you think was good? Or the, the best? The cinnamon, and then the sugar, and then the chocolate chip, and the chocolate. All right, I think I'm going for the chocolate first. I need to edit this brow video for tomorrow's posting day. But I just turned off all the lights, put on my little salt lamp, and it's kind of vibey in here with the cactus and everything. I really need to declutter like all of that, and then all of my clothes are just on the floor because I need to do my collective haul. But I'm using my new poof, and it's so much more comfortable to sit on this couch to actually have somewhere to put your feet. I love it. It is Friday and we're finally doing, well, Ryan's doing something that's been on my to-do list for a while. And that is to finally hang up this mirror right here. It's literally been sitting here ever since we moved in. And these pictures, I'm still wondering if I should actually hang up the pictures or leave this wall that's blank stupid. white. I just like to have a white background filming sometimes, but I think it would be cute to have photos too. So I don't know. What do you think, Ryan? You want it centered over this? Um, yeah, I don't even think that's centered. Should I scoot it? Should I scoot that desk over? Yay, it's up. That looks good. And I can see myself if I film over there. I got this mirror off of Facebook Marketplace and it was like so affordable and I love it. It's stunning. The past couple of hours I've been editing my week in my life vlog, um, but midday slump is hitting. So that means it's chai time. If you're new to the channel, you may not know this, but I'm kind of like obsessed with just really pretty glassware and i saw new glasses on amazon and i could not help it like i was like no you don't need them but then i was like but i want them and they're just so cute and minimal so i purchased them and i think they should be here like next week why that look weird i think i need to shake it up oops um but yeah, they should be here next week, so I'll share it on next week's vlog, but I'm really excited about it. I don't know what makes me so obsessed with glassware. Just having chai in like a cute cup or a matcha in a cute cup like literally just makes my day. I did have chai yesterday and I was low-key feeling like, I don't know if it was like overwhelmed. It was like on the borderline of a little bit anxious. I think there was just like a lot that I wanted to get done yesterday so maybe it was just like i said being anxious but i was like oh dang like i feel like this whole time chai was not really giving me anxiety um so that's why i was really liking it but yesterday was kind of weird sometimes the chai isn't sweet enough especially because i got the skinny chai so i put like just a few drops of agave and it makes it a little better i'm wearing one of my new sweaters that i got from misguided and I checked last night if the pink sweater was out of stock and it was literally not even found on their site. Like I tried to search the title of it and it wasn't on there. So that kind of sucks, but I'm still going to do like a collective haul. I think my Nasty Gal package should be here today. So maybe I'll film that tomorrow. I don't know. I'm really trying to knock out this week in my life today so I can like have it published and ready to go for Sunday so that I don't really have to like work tomorrow. I think Brian's gonna play golf in the morning so I can have like a chill morning to myself, maybe watch some YouTube on the TV and just like literally chill. This evening at 4.30, I have a shoot at UT. Um, it's with a sorority council group or something. So I'm just taking like headshots, group photos so that they can have it for like their social media and website and everything. Last year and obviously the year previous, January was definitely my slowest month for photography, but I feel like this year it's been so steady just in the month of January and people are just like needing photos here and there. And obviously I'm not complaining because I just quit my corporate job in December and I was like a little worried that January would be a slow month. But I feel like if January is like this, like I can't even imagine like what all the other months are gonna be like. And also now I'm thinking about how grad season is just gonna be like so overwhelming. Last year it was like that because I had like back-to-back -back shoots every day, 
but this year it should be a little bit better because I'm not working a corporate job. I would literally go from like seven to three corporate job, then like three to like sunset at UT's campus. And I think I'm gonna try to do some people in the morning so that I can kind of space it out and it's not gonna be like too much. I'm gonna get back to editing. I'm like editing on my poof. I really need to clean that room because I feel like it'd be so cute and vibey. Last night I had the pink Himalayan salt lamp on and it was just like so nice and like peaceful in there. I was editing in the dark, I loved it, but the mess, it needs to go like yesterday. I'm in the process of filming a sponsored TikTok for Chi. They sent over these like heat roller kind of things. And I already took out two of the curls or I think a couple of the curls back here. And I was shook. I let my hair air dry for a little. And then I just like quickly ran through it with like the blow dry brush on the Dyson. And then I put them in here. I just took the clip off, but look at this curl. Wait, there's a way, but I, yeah. Like what? I was not expecting that, honestly. It's so good. I put a little texture spray in my hair and then I flipped my hair over like a couple times and this is the final look. I wish I didn't do my bangs all at once, but I feel like it'll fall and then it'll look really, really good and hopefully still have some volume. Completed the two TikToks that I wanted to get done today and now I'm going to head out to that shoot that I was talking about. It starts at 4.30 and it's currently four, so I gotta get going. It's the next day. Last night we had leftovers and very chill night, so I didn't film anything, but I wanted to end this week of my life here. And if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. It's so underscore gnarly without the G, and I'll see y'all in my next week of my life. Bye.